Once in America, he worked very briefly in a shoe factory in Boston, and he decided there that never in his life would he make shoes with machines. Even though they were well made, American shoes lacked inventiveness and didn't possess the quality of handcrafted Italian shoes. Armed with this firm conviction and a powerful intuition, Salvatore convinced his brothers that they should all move to California. First in Santa Barbara and later in Hollywood, Ferragamo opened a repair and made-to-measure shoe shop, which soon gained a reputation among the stars of the silent cinema. The first orders came from the top directors of that time, James Cruz, Cecil B. DeMille, David Wart Griffith, and Raoul Walsh all asked Ferragamo to produce the shoes for the stars of their costume dramas. The actors and actresses who wore Ferragamo shoes on set, when they found how well-made and comfortable they were, began to order his shoes to wear in their off-screen lives. In a few short years, Ferragamo earned the name of Shoemaker to the Stars. Salvatore Ferragamo's footwear was produced as one-off exclusive for some of Hollywood's best-loved actresses. Among these, the two décolleté that Marilyn Monroe wore in the film Some Like It Hot by Billy Wilder, and the pump Ballerina that Ferragamo designed in 1954 for Audrey Hepburn. At the time, each of them had a three-dimensional copy of their foot kept in Palazzo Spiniferoni, where Ferragamo created his models. This love for the cinema continues today in the company's activities. In 